what the moon has done has never happened before. On March 6 and 7 of last year, the moon moved between NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, the STO, and the sun, and the phenomenon is called lunar transit. As this happened, the STO noticed a solar eclipse, a strange kind of eclipse that can only be seen if it's in orbit around the Earth. The black disk of the new moon passed in front of the sun, turned the course upside down, and it did it again. During the eclipse, which lasted just over four hours, 82% of the sun was covered. Technically, this makes a ring solar eclipse, not total. At most, the ring or, or fire ring around the moon completely surrounds the moon. And you can notice that the moon goes up, comes slightly to the right, and then goes down again, according to space weather, as reported by UFO sighting hotspot, the strange double movement of the, moon, of the moon in the sun before the sun is the result of orbital engineering. Both the SDO and the moon revolve around the Earth, but at different speeds. The speed of SDO, about 3 kilometers per second, is faster than the speed of the moon, which is about 1 kilometer per second. So the SDO transcends the moon first in one direction, then in another during the long eclipse. However, several conspirators who do not have such basic knowledge have argued that this orbital engineering is part of corrections to its orbit, which was made by the moon itself. That is essentially those who run it and are inside it. If it's a, an artificial uh, vehicle that looks like a moon, that's their, their theory. Uh, those who are uh, inside it, running it, since um, and uh, claim to be an artificial uh, some kind of an artificial construction placed there that has come from somewhere else, like a spaceship. But anyway, that's uh, not what we're talking about here. It's just that the fact that the SCO is passing faster and taking another image of the moon. That's all. It's not, <laughs> it's nothing strange. It's because of the SCO passing faster and taking another phase of the eclipse just as the moon passes slowly across the sun in this solar eclipse. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.